This is my foundations and concealers, some liquid highlighters and illuminators and primers in this drawer. You'll see a variety of shades from the same brand. Um, I usually mix these to get my correct shade. And I also am terrible at picking out foundations that actually match my skin. So you'll see I have um, quite a few in here that are probably too dark for me. There's some Cover FX in here on this side, and some of the MAC strobe creams here. I really enjoy those. I mix these Cover FX drops in with my foundation if I want something a little more luminescent. But I haven't had a great amount of success just using these alone. They're a little bit too um, bright for my skin. They really contrast in a negative way and, and don't look very good on my skin. I've got some Jeffree Star Concealer here, and the Becca Primers here, a couple of the Milk Highlighting Sticks, which are really fun to use, a variety of primers here in the back. That Anastasia Liquid Glue is quite nice to mix in with foundation also for a more luminescent finish. There's some Too Faced Foundation and NARS here, a little bit of Tarte, Huda and Lancome. And back in the back here are some of my lesser used foundations and concealers. And I recently picked up one of the Peach Perfect foundations from Too Faced. In the front here, you probably can't see very well, but are a couple of backups, as if I need any backups, 
of foundations or those that I have gotten for free from Ulta for being like a diamond member, I guess you'd say. And over here, I'll move it down some, are some of my potted concealers and stick concealers. This is a liquid tart foundation that I bought from Ulta when they had a sale. And this is um, from Naked Face. It's a K-Beauty brand. I'm pretty in the K-Beauty. You could probably take a guess from looking at my setting sprays um, that I have dry skin. So I've got a lot of hydrating setting sprays in here from Ollie Henriksen and MAC and Smashbox Glam Glow. I've got um, some Too Faced and Cover FX in here, a little bit of Marc Jacobs. I figured out I don't really need a setting spray to extend the life of my makeup as much as I just need something to help my makeup meld together and um, give my skin a little bit of hydration. So I pretty much worked out most of my alcohol-based setting sprays because they were really drying my skin out and um, any of the ones that were meant to prolong the wear of makeup and this is what I'm working through now. This is most of the bronzers in my collection and face powders. So these are also um, in, organized in the Sunny Cosmetics. These are the 39s, um, which I use to store the larger compacts. And um, powders are on this side, and bronzers are on this side. This is um, one of my favorite powder foundations, which is what I mostly use in the summer. And um, it's from Too Faced. And it's the Cocoa Powder Foundation, which I had heard that they were discontinuing. So I was able to catch um, quite a few of these on sale at Nordstrom Rack and stocked up. So you'll see this whole row is those foundations. And these are my powders from Hourglass. This one's in diffuse light, and I usually use these like finishing powders all over the face when I'm done with uh, my makeup application. You'll see there's some It Cosmetics in here. Also, um, I've tried this a few times, and I haven't really decided how I feel about it. A little bit more of the um, It Cosmetics here. I guess there's nothing really interesting to look at with a, a powder or so. These are um, some powders that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And these were from Marc Jacobs, which I thought was pretty cool. And that is... Um, the Finish Line Perfection Powder. I've got a few from Benefit here. These are some of my Too Faced powders. This is Primed and Poreless. I think the packaging on that's pretty cute. And this is a Besame powder. And I, um, you know, like to pick up the best of my products when they're on sale. I think their packaging's pretty cute. And that's the Too Faced Banana Pudding Powder here. And that was a uh, um, collaboration. It's a pretty cute little powder. And I really like the Peach Blur Translucent Powder. So I picked up quite a few of these at the TJ Maxx recently also. In the center here, you'll see some Urban Decay powders. And now on to bronzers. These are some Too Faced bronzers here in the front. They're pretty large. 
This is a Natasha Denona bronze and glue. I think that these are uh, super cute. And this is a Tom Ford bronzer here. And that's in gold dust. This is another one that I got in a boxy charm from Pretty Vulgar. And this is a Kevin Aquan one that I got from TJ Maxx. These Anastasia bronzers are pretty fab. I like these a lot. And here's some NARS bronzers. They're pretty good. It's a Bare Minerals bronzer. I also picked this up at TJ Maxx. And the Sweetie Pie bronzers. I picked up some extras of these from TJ Maxx also. I really like these a lot. And the packaging is pretty cute too. It's a Too Faced bronzer. It's a little more luminous than what I like, but I did like the packaging. And Delilah B. Another one that's pretty cute. Can you tell I'm a sucker for packaging? Does anybody else struggle with that? This is the um, Unicorn Tears bronzer from Too Faced. I'll probably never use it, but it's super cute, so I'm going to keep it. And here are some Urban Decay bronzers. They're really very nice shades. This is a Macalia bronzer here. I just thought it was so pretty. It's a few Guerlain ones. I don't know if you can see how pretty that packaging is, but um, they make a nice bronzer and you can even use this as a blush if you'd like. These are probably two of my favorite bronzers in my collection. This is the um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I love that they updated their packaging on that. And this is the Becca bronzer. These are some of my powders, loose highlighters, and larger blushes. A little bit of MAC, some Fenty, Jeffree Star, Huda, Javinci, there's some Becca in the back, a little Cover FX, Too Faced Beauty Bakery, a little Ciate, Stellar Beauty, Derma Blend, Lottie London, we've got some Fursali here, a little bit of Ofra and Laura Lee Los Angeles, Artist Couture, and some Too Faced blushes over here. This is my collection of blushes. This is the Sunny Cosmetics 56 blush organizer. And this is the Sunny Cosmetics 39 compact organizer. These are all MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish blushes. And these are some older packaging MAC blushes. I have a Givenchy blush back here. And these are some NARS blushes here. More NARS blushes here. This is a Koki Cosmetics blush here.
these are a few of the Bare Minerals blushes that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And an older packaging MAC blush. These are some of my Hourglass blushes. I'll open up a few of the NARS blushes for you. These Erdem blushes from NARS are some of my favorites. Keep the little insert in there because I like it so much. It's so pretty. These are some NARS minis. And these are Becca blushes. And some Ciate blushes. The packaging's really cute. This is an Urban Decay blush and Obsessed. These Too Faced Low Flush Blushes are some of my favorites. This is some Juvia Place Blushes. Cute packaging. And this is Pretty Vulgar. I got a few of these in my BoxyCharm. These are some of the Too Faced Cream to Powder Blushes. And this is a Tarte Blush that I just think the packaging is just amazing on. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. And this is the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. This is a Laura Geller Blush. And these are some more Tarte blushes here. This is quite a few of the contour palettes from Anastasia. The Becca, Chloe, and Monique, Malika palette. Lots of the Natasha Denona blushes. I can open a few of those, but I don't swatch those. They usually stain my skin. Good variety of shades there. These are just duos. Picked most of them up from Natasha Jindana's website when she was having a sale. So they were a good price. 
Then I have a few of the Cover FX new blushes. I think I picked up three of those. I just thought the shades were very pretty. And the Jouer blush palettes. I'll just take a look at a couple of those. Some of the Naked Blush. Who remembers those? Those are pretty old. I really love these Kevin Aquan blushes. I have all four of those. And if they ever release another shade, I'll get it too. Because they're that good. There's a few of the Anastasia Blush Trios in here. You can get these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now for a steal. This is a drawer of highlighters. I'm going to try to swatch quite a few of them. Sorry I did not swatch a lot of blushes unless they were in a palette because they tend to stain my skin. But we'll just start right here. And these are the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powders. This is the shade Mars. And this is the shade Mercury. So there are swatches of Mercury and Mars. This is the Dior Nude Skin Luminizer in Glow Addict. And it's 001 Hollow Pink. This is another Dior Nude Air Luminizer, and it just says it's shade 001. This is another one. And this is in shade Glowing Pink. So this is Swatches. These are the Dior right here. These are the Ciate highlighters. This is Moon Dust. This is Rainbow. This is Solstice. This is Starburst.
And these four are the swatches of the Ciate here. This is a highlighter from MAC and it is snow flushed. It's got a color shift to it. And there it is right there. I'm sure you cannot see the color shift. This is the Too Faced Rainbow Stroop Highlighter. And there we are, right there. These are quite a few of the Becca highlighters here. I usually keep the ones in the back that are too dark for my skin and the ones I use more regularly in the front here. This is Berlin Girl Glow. This is Parisian Light. This is the Spanish Rose Glue. This is Royal Glue. This is the Prismatic Amethyst. This is Vanilla Quartz. This is Smoky Quartz. This is Becca Lilac Geode. This is a Becca Champagne Split. This is Becca Pearl. And this is about as dark as I usually use on my skin tone. This is Moonstone. And then here is swatches of everything. And you can see the Becca here. These are some of my Fenty highlighters here. This is How Many Carrots. This is Girl Next Door and Cheek Freak. This one is Moon Metal. And this one is Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And here are some swatches. These are some highlighters from Colored Rain. This is Fashion Show. 
and this is luxurious bling. And this is a powder from Besame with the Mermaid Lagoon Collection. It's the Pearl Shimmer Shell Compact. These highlighters back here are some MAC. And they're, honestly, they're just too dark for my skin tone. They do not show up in a flattering way on me at all. These are some Cover FX powders also that are too dark for my skin tone. I do have a couple from By Terry here that I do enjoy and one from Tom Ford here. I think that's one of my favorites. This one from Persona is too dark for me. This one from PYT Beauty. I think that it's really similar to the How Many Carrots from Fenty. Here's the Amrezy highlighter, which is very beautiful. And here's a couple of the NARS ones that I actually um, use. This is Albatross. And my favorite is Fort de France. And here are some swatches of the ones that we just talked about. And then I added the Natasha Denona's that I'm going to show you here in a second and the Charlotte Tilbury Bar Gold here. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar Gold. And these are two of the Natasha Denona Super Glows. And I also did side by sides of the PYT and the How Many Carrots. And these are a few more highlighters over here. This one's from Stila. And it also looks similar to the How Many Carrots. This is Urban Decay Afterglow. And this one's in Sin. This is one of the Makeup Geek highlighters. I don't use these very often. This one's in Glitz. You can see they have a little shift to them. This one's in Moon Phase. This one's in Celestial. And here are some of my favorites. These are from Ofra. You'll see that's the new packaging. And that one is Talia Mar. And this one is the Beverly Hills. This one is a Everglow highlighter and it was a collab with Nikki Tutorials. This one's All of the Lights. This is one of my favorites. It's got a lot of colors that you can mix and match. This is another one called Star Island. It's a pretty shade. This is Space Baby. It has a blue shift. This is Cloud Nine, and it has a pink shift. 
And these are some of the ones that are a little too dark for my skin, so I keep those back there. And here are some swatches. I swatched the Stila next to the Fenty, so you can see how similar those are. Here are some of my Smashbox highlighters. I think these are just so pretty. This Too Faced one. I don't really get a lot of use out of that. It's a little dark for me. And quite a few of these Dila's are also a little dark for me. I really need to do a declutter. Is that something you guys might want to see? Let me know. I kind of have a collect them all mentality when it came to starting out in makeup about three years ago and I went a little crazy. I'm a little more selective now. Anybody else struggle with that? And here are some swatches. All right, we've got another drawer of highlighters here. These are Hourglass and these are Jouer. Some Jeffree Star. This is one of the cute Ciate ones that was with the Jessica Rabbit collection. This is a Kat Von D one here and Josie Moran. And I really don't use these ones towards the back too often. I've got a few more from Becca here and Laura Gellers, a little bit of NARS, more Becca, and these are the ones with the shift. These are some tart ones here, and there's a little bit of Anastasia's here, some of her older highlighters, and the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes here, more of the Kat Von D's. A few more of the MAC older ones, and some drugstore here, which is um, mostly Ulta brand and Wet n Wild, and then a little bit of Models Own here, and then everybody's favorite Mary Lou. So I'll open up a few of these so that you can see them. These are probably some of my most used ones here, and they're the Hourglass ones. I do love these from Jeffree Star. I think that they are super pretty. I love the packaging also. These are the ones from Jouer, and I need to probably declutter a few of these at some point in time because a lot of them I found are too dark for me. That gold, gold school is very pretty. Here's some of the NARS ones. And I usually catch these on Hot Look. And the Laura Gellers. I always thought these were so pretty too. Here's a few of the Becca. These are going to be the poured. And I don't usually use creams as often. Here's some of these shifting ones here. And that one is Amethyst Blashes Geode, and I really don't get a lot of use out of it. It's too dark. This is a Lila B, and I just love her packaging. It reminds me of a little pebble. one of the tarts. These extra dimension skin finishes are very pretty. I like these quite a lot. And these Anastasia ones, I don't think I'll ever let these go. I think they're some of the prettiest ones in my collection. Some of these I just caught on sale at Sephora and picked them up when I had my collect them all mentality. 
those are the metal crush they're really pretty but they're very glittery and some of the old school max of course i think most of us have this one here soft and gentle in our collection i do enjoy those and these are some of my Ulta Beauties. I really don't use these very often. Some of them are even still in the packaging. I don't find that I like the formula very much. And if I do a declutter, this will likely go. And here's a pretty one from Wet n Wild. I haven't even tried it yet. And then of course, Mary Lou. We owe her a peak. And there she is. This drawer is full of a lot of my face palettes. This is a Bobbi Brown Highlight and Glow Shimmer Brick Palette. This is a Bobbi Brown Highlighting Trio. This is a Tarte Skin Twinkle Highlighting Palette. This is a Tardiest Blush Palette. This is a Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2. This is the Stila Little White Lies Palette. This is the Stila Shine Bright Palette. This is the Becca Light Waves Palette. This is the Becca Blushed with Light Palette. This is the Glam Glow Highlighting Palette. This is the Tarte Blush Bliss Palette. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. This is the Tardiest Pro Glow and Blush Palette. This is the Stellar Face Sculptor Palette. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. This is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist Palette. This is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Full Palette. This is MAC Pretty Shiny Things and Fair. This is the Kat Von D Fetish Blush and Highlighter Palette. This is the Makeup Forever Lustrous Blush Palette. This is the Ofra Highlighter and Bronzer on the Glow Palette. These are some Laura Geller items I deposited and put in a Z Palette from Sephora. These are more Laura Geller items that I depotted and put into a Sephora Z Palette. This is the Laura Geller Passport to Pretty Palette. This is the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. This is a Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is the Becca Be A Light Palette in Light Medium. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. This is a Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. This is the Lorac Pro Concealing Contour Palette. This is the Wander Beauty Dust to Dawn Palette. This is the NARS Bonk Disable Palette. This is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette. This is the Cover FX Gold Bar Palette. This is the Cover FX Perfector Palette in Medium Deep. This is the Cover FX Perfector Palette in Light Medium. 
This is the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. These are the MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette. This is the Lime Crime Unicorns Highlight Palette. This is the Lime Crime Blossoms Highlight Palette. This is the Lime Crime Opals Highlight Palette. This is the Lime Crime Mermaids Highlight Palette. This is the Lime Crime Angels Highlight Palette. This is the Lime Crime Fairies Highlight Palette. These are some of my highlighter palettes. I've got a little bit of Too Faced and Love Lux Beauty, Becca, Huda, Urban Decay, and Anastasia. This is one of the Too Faced palettes. And I like the blushes in here and the bronzer, but I don't really like the highlighter. It's too dark for my skin and it's got a heavy gold reflect in it. So it just doesn't really work well for me. This is the Love Lux Beauty Fantasy Palette. And this is a Becca Face Palette. Came out around the holidays. This is a Becca face palette that came out around the holidays. This is the Anastasia Moonchild palette. It's got a pretty reflect to it. Very colorful. We need to move for a colorful highlight. And this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette here. The Anastasia Aurora palette. And you're in the mood for a colorful highlight. That's another good one. The Becca Christy Teigen palette. The Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. Anastasia Dream Palette. Very, very pretty shades. Well, these are a couple of the Urban Decay Afterglows. Honestly, I really don't like them too much. They probably wouldn't survive a declutter. This is one that I do really enjoy, though, and that's the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Very pretty shades. This is a sun dipped glow kit. Haven't used it yet. It came in a box from Cult Beauty and they had like a gift with purchase deal going. And this is the Huda 3D highlighter palette. Very pretty. These are all my favorite 
face palettes and um, hourglasses right here up front. The packaging is so reflective that I'll just, um, you know, point them out to you here and show you some of these others. So that is the highlight and bronze palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't think it's really worth the money. But this blush and bronze, I do enjoy that one. The bronzer is very good, but the highlight is just so-so. This is the Bar of Gold Trio from Charlotte Tilbury. And I feel like I have every NARS palette that I can get my hands on just because I really enjoy the formula. This is one of the NARS cheek palettes. And there's another one. And I caught quite a few of these at Hot Look recently for a very good price. So I picked up as many as I could. These are a really interesting formula. It seems more like a baked product. Laguna Bronzer. I love that packaging. Another NARS palette that I picked up on Hot Look. I think their highlighter palettes are really, really awesome. Here are a couple of the Kevin Aquan powders. That's Capri. And this one is their setting powder. And it's more of a highlighter for me. I organized my singles using the Sunny Cosmetics 72 eyeshadow. And I put some of my smaller palettes in the Sunny Cosmetics Alex 6 eyeliner organizer. These Lemonhead Los Angeles Space Jams are so pretty. Have that green. A super pretty silver. And here's a pretty multicolor one. And a nice copper one. This is some of my smaller eyeshadow palettes and some eyeshadow singles. These are all my Marc Jacobs Omega singles. Here's some swatches of those singles. This is two of my Stila singles. These are swatches of the two Stila singles. These are my Besame Avengers singles. These are swatches of the Besame Avengers singles. This is the Milk Baby Girl stack. This is a Lila B B Fabulous quad. This is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon number seven, the T's. These are my NARS Voyager eyeshadow palettes. This is swatches of suede and nectar. This is swatches of copper and quartz. 
This is the Visart Petite Pro, the Urban Decay Petite Heat, and the Too Faced Tickled Peach. This is the Stila Perfect Me Perfect Q palette in Buxom White Russian. These are my Natasha Denona palettes in Aries, Camel, Number 4, and Leela. These are some of my palettes from Urban Decay. And I'll just open these up for you. This is the Back Talk palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat. This is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3. The Urban Decay Naked 2. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original. And then I have the Born to Run here in the back. And this is the Alex 8 Palette Organizer from Sunny Cosmetics. And these um, are in the Alex 6 drawer. So it can be a little difficult to get to some of the ones in the back, as tall as they are. So I just lift it out. And this is the Urban Decay Born to Run. And then on this side are my Too Faced palettes. This is Chocolate Bonbons. And Chocolate Gold. And the Too Faced Gingerbread. This is probably one of my favorites. The Too Faced Sweet Peach. This is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. The White Chocolate Bar. This is the Chocolate Bar Palette. And here is the glitter palette from Too Faced. These are some of my palettes from Bare Minerals and Smashbox on this side. And um, a little bit of Kat Von D on this side. And Kevin Aquan and Allure Mercier palette there. This is the Bare Sensuals palette. The Bare Naturals palette. This one didn't really have a name. This is the Be Beautiful palette. The Hidden Treasure palette.
And this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This is the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And the Smashbox Photo Matte Palette. These are also in the Sunny Cosmetics 8 palette organizers. I pretty much use Sunny Cosmetics for all of my organization. This is the Kat Von D Divine palette. This is the Kat Von D Matte Metal palette. This is the Kat Von D Divine palette. This is the Metal Matte palette from Kat Von D. This is the Kevin Aquan Electro Pop palette. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Artist Palette. This is the Kat Von D Crystallis Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. It's all matte. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and this is the Glimmer. Here I have some Milk Cosmetics palettes, an Urban Decay, Makeup Addiction, Colored Rain, Urban Decay, Colored Rain, and Smashbox here. This is the Melt Cosmetic Smoke Sessions palette. The 27 palette. The Gemini palette. This is a palette from Urban Decay. I can never say the name of this one. The Meadow Palette for Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is the Color Ring Queen of Hearts Palette. This is the Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty palette. Here are the Urban Decay on the Run palette. And from Colored Rain. All right, and a little later, I'll go into more detail on these Smashbox palettes. And I actually did swatches of all of these palettes 
I'll probably move that to the end if you're interested in that. I'd probably stay to the end. Here are some of my favorite palettes from Cali Cosmetics, Lordly Los Angeles, Jouer, Ace Butte, Violet Boss, and Saucebox, which I highly recommend Saucebox. They're quite good. I wish that the Kylie palettes came in the same packaging that the box packaging is, but it's not, so I hold on to it. Isn't that so cute? It's the Kylie Loves Jordan palette. And the one that I showed you previously was her Valentine's palette. Pretty cute. This is the Burgundy palette. This packaging is pretty basic. They're all the same, unfortunately, for these extended palettes but I wish she would at least have put this, you know, on there so that you knew what you were using. And that was the bronze and this is the peach. Pretty colors. This is the Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee. I think these colors are super cute. This is the Jouer Ultra Full. I've seen that on sale a lot, so if you want it, keep an eye out. Isn't that pretty? I love that packaging. That's her birthday palette from Kylie. See if I can get it open for you. And this packaging is all right, but it's nothing compared to the box. These palettes from Ace Butte, oh, they're so pretty. I love those colors. Just super pretty. These, this is the Violet Boss Rainbow Palette. They made a mini of this. I was so excited to see that. Of course, I ran out and picked it up right away. All right, guys. These soft spots eyeshadows, they're so good. They're so, so good. This is the Nocturne Palette. Such pretty colors. And that's a Secret Garden palette. And they're vegan and cruelty free. I think I have some new launches coming up soon. I will definitely be picking those up. And this palette can also be used for contour and bronze. So it's multi purpose. I really like that. And that's the Etude palette from Saucebox Cosmetics. Here are some of my palettes from Juvia's Place here. More Kat Von D here. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. The Too Faced Then and Now. 
one of the Makeup Revolution Sofax palettes is back there and some Too Faced here. So I'll just show you all these. I have to store them laying down because they're, you know, so bulky. Magic Mini. This one's really good. And if you like greens, you'll love the Tribe palette. It's quite good also. Who else has this one and I'll never get rid of it. That green is so pretty. These are more of my larger palettes from Violet Voss, Ace Butte, and this Makeup Revolution one. So it's a Mingo palette from Violet Voss. This is the Ride or Die. Very pretty packaging. And my goodness, look at all those eyeshadows. Pretty good value. This is the Ace Butte Quintessential palette. I think I got this in a box of charm. The Violet Voss Drenched Metal. Very pretty. I don't think you can get anything like that. And then this is one of the uh, Makeup Revolution. I think it's called Pink Fizz. These are palettes from Smashbox. The Rock. Makeup Revolution, and Urban Decay, and Tarte. This is the Smashbox Masterclass Palette, Create and Transform. Urban Decay Heavy Metal. Tardius Pro Remix Palette. This is an Urban Decay Full Spectrum. Palette. You'll notice I have a lot of these stored in this drawer laying flat because they're just too big to store any other way. This is the Urban Decay Vice. Pretty shades. And the Emily wants. I have to support her. I just love her so much. This is the Beauty Sue Brunch from Lorac. And then we'll just go in order with the Mega Pros. This is the Mega. Mega Pro 2.
Mega Pro 3 and the Mega Pro 4. This is my collection of Anastasia palettes and Kaleidos cosmetics. This is the Sultry palette. The Riviera palette. The Soft Glam palette. The Alyssa Edwards palette. The Norvina palette. The Modern Renaissance palette. This Prism palette. And this subculture palette. This is the Shadow Couture palette. The Artist palette. The Tamana palette. Maya Mia palette, and the self-made palette. These in the front are from Kaleidos Cosmetics. This is, this is the um, Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green, and this packaging is awesome. It's soft touch. It's really, really bright, and look at those shades. I've heard folks say they think that this is similar to the Gemini palette from Yelp. Kalanis is also vegan and cruelty-free. And if they release anything else, I'm definitely going to pick it up. This is features in three asteroid pink. Very pretty shades. Very, very pretty. Love it. These are palettes from Cali Cosmetics. This is the Calm Before the Storm palette. And I do keep the box for the same reasons I said previously. This is Eye of the Storm. Pretty shades. This is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. I probably This is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded, and I wouldn't really recommend this palette. I don't think it's very good. So, a lot of shades from Smashbox. It's the LA Cover Shot Eye Palette. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And the After Dark Palette. And I have a couple of palettes from Pixie here in the back. And if you haven't tried Pixie's eyeshadows, I recommend them also. They're quite good. I usually pick mine up at Target. That's the Natural Beauty. And 
this is another pixie palette called reflex light These are the Dominique Cosmetics palettes. This is the Lemonade palette. And her Latte palette. Berries and Cream. And I've been thinking about picking up her Rustic Glam palette. What do you guys think? This is Lorac Unzip Desert Sunset. And Ocean. This packaging is kind of neat, it just peels right back. And I've seen these at Hot Look for like 16 bucks. If you were interested in them and you like the Lorac formula, this is Mountain. And these are the Lorac Pros. It's a three. I believe that's the two. And I believe that's the one. And this is the unzipped palette from Lorac. These are some palettes from Busy Art here, Persona Cosmetics, and Too Faced here. Then we have some Tom Ford, more Too Faced, NARS, Lorley Los Angeles, and Violet Voss right here. This is the Koi palette from Vice Art. This is the Cool Mats 2. It's in the updated packaging, so you can just pop these out and put them into a magnetic palette, which I really like that feature. This is the Warm Mats here. This is the Neutral Mattes, and they're known for their matte formula. Their shimmers are okay, but I really prefer their mattes. This is a pretty one here, Bijou Royal. And this one's Bridal Satin. Boheme Dream. Shades are very pretty. This is Sultry Muse. This is their editorial palette. It's very pretty. Very bright, vibrant mattes. This is their Paris palette. And dark mattes. This is the Persona Identity palette. And the Too Faced Pineapple palette here. 
and the raspberry one here. I think that packaging is pretty cute too. I have a couple of Vice Art palettes here in the back. This is the Trist. And Golden Hour. Then moving over to some of these Tom Ford palettes. These are the palettes that come out every year. I usually pick them up. If I'm looking for a quick palette to get ready for work, this is one of my favorites. And you'll see I've hit pan on quite a few of those shades. That is Cellar Exposure. That's my number one in here from Tom Ford. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. The Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. The White Chocolate Chip Palette. Natural Eyes Palette. Boudoir Eyes Palette. And I have another from Busy Art here in the back. Isn't that pretty? I love the purples. That's the Liaison Palette. And just so you can kind of see, this is an Alex 8, and this is the Alex Big Star 20 slot over here. So there's a divider in between these. These are the Violet Boss Donut palette here, and the Mini Rainbow. And here's the Holy Grail fun sized palette. This is Berry Burst. And that's Fruit Sorbet. This is L or Le Macaron and Creme Brulee. It's a nice everyday palette. The Laura Lee Sleigh Bell. And then her Party Animal, which I think I got in a boxy charm and her Boss Babe. And this is the NARS Love Game Palette. I really like that packaging a lot. And the NARS Wanted Palette. And this is the NARS Loaded Palette. And I have a Tarte palette here in the back. And it's more so a face palette. These are some of my MAC Personality palettes. I think they're called Mac Girl palettes. 
and then some of my larger palettes over here. This is the Wrist Taker palette for MAC. Fashion Fanatic. Prissy Princess. Classic Cutie. Rockin' Rebel. Mischief Minx. Queen Supreme. And Power Hungry. Over here, we have the Beauty by Story Remedy Eyeshadow Palette. This is a new brand that launched in April. They're vegan and cruelty free. I'd highly recommend checking them out. They're pretty good. This is another one of my favorite brands. This is Gourmande Girls. Aren't those colors pretty? Love them. Very vibrant. This is a the Ace Butte Flare Palette. The Violet Moss Pro Holy Grail Palette. The Lime Crime Venus Palettes. And that was the two and this is the XL. The Urban Decay Elements Palette. This is an Amazon brand. I think they're known as FB Beauty if you were looking them up on Instagram. Deep Sea Luster Palette from Kaleidos Cosmetics. Gorgeous. This is the Smashbox Cosmetics Palette. I think it's called Drawn In Decked Out. That's right. This is the Stila After Hours. The Lancome Audacity in Paris. The Misunderstood Palette from ColourPop. This is lights. a Summer Lights palette from NARS. The Pretty Vulgar Nightingale. The Bobbi Brown Crystal Drama palette. The Pure Festival Palette. I think this came in a boxy charm. Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. We're having a mishap over here, you guys. 
This is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows. Steel is Soul. It's a Steel of Spirit. And this is Matte and Metal from Stila. This is my collection of Nobla palettes and um, Cleona cosmetics, I believe, and some certified palettes. This is the Nobla Poison Garden Palette. This is the Nobla Secret Palette. This is the Nobla Soul Blooming Palette. The Nobla Dreamy Palette. The Paleo Palette. The Archeo Palette or Archeo palette. These are some palettes from Certify. They're very colorful. Fun packaging. These are my palettes from Huda Beauty, Best Made Cosmetics, and there's a Tarte palette in this drawer also. This is the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. This is the Rogue Rose Gold Remastered Palette. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Original Palette. This is the Besame Cosmetics Snow White palette. And here's another Besame Cosmetics Snow White palette. And this is the Mermaid Lagoon palette for Besame Cosmetics. And this is the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette, which I've hit paint on a few shades. I really like this one. These are some of my palettes from Tarte, Too Faced, Makeup Geek, Lime Crime, NARS, Becca, and Urban Decay.
This is the Just Peachy Mattes Palette. You get a good amount of use out of that one. This is the White Peach Palette. The shades are pretty in this one, but it's a little bit of a flaky formula, so you will get fallout all over your face from the shimmers. And this is the Tartlet in Bloom. It's um, one of my favorite palettes, and you can see I put pan on a few shades in here. It's a Lime Crime Venus 3. And the Lime Crime Venus. And this is a newer palette from NARS. This is a palette from Becca. Came out around the holidays. Let's see if I can get it open for you. There we go. I don't think it's really that good. And this is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. And the rest of what I'm going to show you is Makeup Geek palettes. Makeup Geek had a big sale and I went a little crazy. And the last one. These are some of my palettes from Linda Hallberg, Viseart, Violet Boss, Too Faced, Ciate, and Lunar Beauty. This is the Infinity Deep Palette from Linda Hallberg. This is the Rose Edit from Viseart. This is the Warm Edit from Viseart. This is the Sugar Crystals palette from Violet Voss. This is a Too Faced Life's A Festival palette. I've seen these at TJ Maxx. This is the Too Faced I Want Candy palette. And the Ciate Jessica Rabbit collection. This is an eyeshadow palette. It's not very good, but the packaging is very cute. This is a Lunar Beauty palette. That's a highlighter palette there. And then this is an eyeshadow palette. And these are some of my favorite palettes. I love the Vicart Mattes Formula, and this is the Grand Pro One. 
and these pop out and you can mix and match them and I really love that. And I also have the Gram Pro Volume 2 and this is not their typical shimmer formula. It's so much better. And there's a variety of shades and finishes here and I think that these are super good quality. I can highly recommend that one. Alright, we've got the Blue Honey palette from Cali Cosmetics. And I keep the box on that one because I prefer that packaging. I have another one from Kylie here. This is from her Halloween collection. And same thing, I keep the box for that one. The Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute. Strobe Cosmetics Divinity Palette. The Lime Crime Birthday Palette. And these are palettes from Ella and Mila. This is Blushing Goddess. And they all have sleeves. I'm just taking those off. Ultra Goddess. Flirty Goddess. And I haven't tried these yet. I just recently picked them up. I think they released recently. And I have a few of their eyeshadows and thought they were pretty good. So I thought I'd give the makeup a try. This is the Mermaid Goddess palette. The Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. The Hasina palette. From Blush Tribe. The Malika palette. Neon Dreams. The Sonia palette. These shades are so gorgeous. So I took down the Sunny Cosmetics Organizer that is on top of my Alex Six Stores that are stacked and we're just going to go through these. So that is the Lime Crime Venus XS Silver. The Venus XS Rose Gold. The Venus XS Solid Gold. And these are the Lime Crime Plushies. This is Sweet Blends. And Fresh Squeezed. Next 
I'm going to show you these Huda palettes. And I just got these in the mail. And one of them I've broken, but they sent a replacement from Sephora. These are the Neon palettes. And I haven't got to try these yet, but they are very, very pretty. I like that the packaging is a hard plastic instead of the cardboard that the others are in. And I can't wait to try these. This is the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. This is the Ruby version. And here's Amethyst. Sapphire. Emerald This is electric Coral Gemstone Smoky There's another gemstone. And warm brown. Right beside that, I have these Lime Crime palettes. They're called the Pocket Candy. This was a birthday one. And the last one is this yellow one, which I think is to eliminate something or another. Next, I have quite a few lipsticks, and I get a lot of questions about where these come from, these glittery ones that I keep in the front there. They're the Too Faced metallic throwback ones. So I have um, some Lime Crime in here also. The packaging is just so beautiful. And I have quite a few of the Max. I usually keep my limited edition Max in here. And then I like these Lip Tensity Lippies, and I see these going on sale left and right, so they might be being discontinued, but you might be able to get them at a bargain price. These are Stila Lip Balms. And then more of the Too Faced Lippies. I have some Clinique and a few Charlotte Tilbury in here also. The packaging is very luxe and I, I do enjoy it. All right, next we'll look at some of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters that I have in that organizer. And of course, I told you guys before that I really like these Becca bronzers. They're so good. And then I picked up Fenty Into Sun.
These are more of the Becca bronzers. I love the Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. And um, these are blushes that I picked up. And they're like 40% off at Ulta right now. So if you're interested in these, I would grab them now. They were released three new shades and I picked up two of the three so far. I'll probably pick up the last one also. But they have a matte side and a shimmer side in most of them. Some of them are shimmer on both, but you can pretty much mix and match them and find a good finish for yourself if you don't mind, you know, having two in one like that. This is the only one that I'm not that fond of. I love the color, but it smells like alcohol. And this is berries and bubbly, so that's probably why. I'm sure they were going for champagne, but I don't like the scent. This is a blush from PYT. And I've been really impressed with their products so far. And that is Heartbeat Cheek Color. It's very good. You can get them on sale at Ulta sometimes, so I try to grab them because the coupons usually apply. This is a Charlotte Tilbury blush. Her packaging's pretty nice. Well, of course, they have some Jeffree Star highlighters in here. Hypothermia. And this is Wet Dream here. And then the Too Faced Bronzers. That's Sun Bunny. And a couple more Too Faced Bronzers here. And more Becca Bronzers. Alright, here I have a few of my um, Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner from Too Faced. I think the colors are very pretty. I picked up a few of those. And um, these are very pretty also. This is the Macchiato Madness, and these are liquid glitter eyeshadows. I don't think they're quite as good as the Stila's, but they're not too bad. I like them. Got some JD Glow in here. And these Huda Liquid Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And quite a variety of shades here. We've got some blues, some greens, some pinks. There's even a yellow. I have my top favorite before the Jeffree Star powder came out, which was the Peach Perfect. I love the scent of that. And then I have some perfumes in here. And, um,. The Anastasia highlighters. The loose ones. Oh, they're so pretty. I took my um, drawers out of my acrylic organizer and I'm just going to show you what's inside them. So, this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Haven't even used it yet. This is a Tarte primer here, and it's actually one of my favorites. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit on this one, and it's a backup. I just, I really like this packaging here, and I go through these pretty quickly, probably four or so a year. And that is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. It's really good for smoothing out your face when you, for your pores. I do like this Benefit Professional 
also, but I do prefer the pearl finish. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base, and I have quite a few of these because I literally use them almost every day. There's the Need Sticks Blurring Primer. It's okay. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer is here. I haven't tried it yet. I got it on sale at Ulta a while back. And then I have the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. This shade is Champagne Pop. I like to blend that in with foundations. And the Kevin Acon Celestial Light. This came in a Beautylish Lucky Bag. I haven't tried it yet. This is a lot of bare minerals, it's a couple of bronzers, blushes, and the base powders. They are pretty nice. And the Guerlain Meteorites, the little pearls. They remind me of Terra Babies every time I see them. She uses that almost every day, I think. Then we have a few powders from Besame, which um, when you can get these on sale, they're pretty good. This is the translucent powder. Then there is a lilac brightening powder also that's very good from Besame. And then I have quite a few of her vanilla brightening powders. When you can get these on sale, I think they're totally worth it. This is also where I have my primer potions from Urban Decay. This is the primary ones that I use. I have a few others, but I don't like them quite as much. I also have a lot of glitters in here and cream shadow sticks. So these are for Mally here. And then I have some JD Glow, the liners. They're pretty nice. And I do love these um, heavy metal glitter liners from Urban Decay. I have a Lily Lolo. Eyeshadow primer. I picked that up on Tara Baby's recommendation because she has dry eyelids also. And this is really just some random liquid moon dust from Urban Decay. A milk eye pigment. This is like a cream eyeshadow. It's like a one and done kind of eyeshadow look. Little Mally sticks, also. This is my brow products. It's mostly going to be these Anastasia brow pencils, and I get them when I can on sale at Ulta a few times a year, and I stock up. And then I have an, a wide variety of Benefit products also. The Precisely My Brow is pretty good. But I have learned that I do not like those thicker pencils. Only the thin ones. And I'm actually trying to pan one right now. And let me tell you, it's taken forever. So that goof proof is not for me. This highbrow. If you haven't tried this, 
it's worth picking up. I think it um, it gives a really pretty sheen to your eyebrow as a final step in your eye look. It's also pretty good for inner corner. And these are some Kat Von D brow powders. And then her colorful brow products. I do like to do colorful looks and these come in handy. Everybody has one of these Anastasia Dip brows and this is mine. I do prefer the thin pencil though. And then I found this brow box at TJ Maxx the other day and picked it up from Urban Decay. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks promising. I do like brow powder sometimes. These are my mascaras. I get a lot of these in subscription boxes or as samples. So you'll see a lot of these minis from Tarte and Marc Jacobs, Buxom, and so on. I don't think there's anything really impressive here because it seems like most mascaras smudge on me with the exception of tubing mascaras. So I usually use two mascaras. I'll build my lashes up with these and toss them out every few weeks and then I'll have a tubing mascara. Right now I'm using the one from Thrive Cosmetics. It's, um, it's pretty good. These are my eyeliners. And I've got some from Makeup Geek in here and um, some Too Faced, some Kat Von D, some Urban Decay. I, I don't know why I have so many because I really don't use eyeliner all that much. I've decided that unless it's for like a pop of color or um, you know something a little bit to blacken my waterline, I really don't use eyeliner too much so who knows why I have all these. I have a few palettes from By Terry. They're the Sun Designer palettes. They're pretty nice. I do like them. This is Happy Cheek, or Happy Chick, and this one's Happy Sun. They're very pretty. I wish the packaging was different so you could tell them apart. This one is Savannah Love. This one's Tropical Sunset. Tan and Flash Cruise. And this is Light and Tan Vibes. Alright, I took everything off of the wall-mounted storage unit and we're just going to sit right here in the floor on a towel and I'll show you those. So I'll just start with this rather random one here. This is the Laroque Pirates of the Caribbean. has a side compartment with a little face palette that's pretty cute. It's got like moon phases and the plastic insert so I kept that because I thought it was cute. Makes that a heavy little guy, though. This 
These are the Sephora Pro palettes. I have three of these. I wouldn't say that the quality is terribly good in these. Though I've heard that their second run of these were quite good. do these Pat McGrath palettes next. I really like the packaging of these. I think it's really nice. They're pretty expensive. But it's pretty luxurious packaging. And that was the Mothership Decadence palette. the little insert there because the shade names are not inside the palettes. Which I know drives some people crazy. I'm one of them. And this is the Mothership 2 Sublime. super pretty. I really like it. This is the subliminal palette. And that blue is pretty eye catching. And this is the Subversive palette, which is her number three palette. These are her six pan eyeshadow palettes, and this is the Subversive Metal Morphosis. I like the packaging on these a lot better. The um, packaging is built in with the eyeshadows, so I think that's like a nice touch there. All but one of these palettes from her that's a six pan is pretty good quality. This one is the Sublime Bronze Temptation Palette. This is the Sublime Bronze Ambition. 
really awesome packaging. The shadow quality is pretty good too. And all about this one. This one had a few duds. This is Lobby and Rose. Which is a shame because the packaging was the prettiest and these were the shades I was most excited for. It just didn't quite work out that way. It's a little patchy for the pinks and the purples, which is why I bought that palette. This is the Platinum Bronze. It's probably the most everyday bronze palette that, um, that I have and I really enjoy it. This is the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, and I just am not thrilled with this one at all. The mattes are pretty good, but these shimmers here, they are ultra chunky, and I really did not like them very much. Like even this one, it just like crumbles. I don't know if you can see that. There's like, there's just nothing to it. That's a dead. Oh, here's one more Pat McGrath palette. This is her Dark Star palette. I have a few palettes from MAC over here. This is the MAC in the Flesh. And I like these. Um, these palettes here. I'm a fan of the MAC formula there, so. It was much more affordable to buy these larger palettes than it was to try to buy individuals for MAC. They can be pretty expensive. It took the lighting down a little bit because it seemed like it was washing out the colors some. That's a little better. These are some really nice palettes for MAC. They're the Art Library palettes. I really enjoyed them. This is the more colorful one here. I have quite a few Tarte palettes. These round ones I like to store on the wall. The packaging is, is very nice and they look pretty good up there. And pretty. I love their glitter finish palettes. The formula was pretty nice too. I get their blush palettes pretty much every year. They have one of my favorite blush formulas. This one came in a boxy charm recently. I haven't tried it yet. There's 
one's probably my favorite one from Tarte in the round palette variety. And then one more blush palette from Tarte. That's the packaging. Super pretty. I love the purple. Pretty wearable blush shades for me. I also um, enjoy the Saucebox palettes. I really can't talk about them enough. They're quite good. Check these out, you guys. This was the Forbidden Fruits palette, and they had actually discontinued this, and they brought it back. So I grabbed this when they brought it back, and I'm super happy that I did. This is the Mermaid Life palette from Saucebox 2. Isn't that packaging awesome? I love it. Got a cute little mirror. I love these shades. I have a couple of highlighters from Too Faced here. I don't really wear these too often, but they look pretty displayed, so I keep them around. These from Benefit are, are um, some of my favorites. I usually use their palettes, but their singles went on sale at Macy's for half price, so I picked up all of them that I could. It's Coralista there. This is Gold Rush, which I'm really happy to have a single of. Bella Bamba. I don't think that's going to pick up. It's a pretty shade, though. Rockator is probably one of my favorites. Besides the dandelion. And they all kind of smell like flowers. I really like that about their blushes. Now the Hula bronzer is too dark for me, but Hula Light, it works out pretty well. So I'd give it a try if you're looking for a bronzer for lighter skin tone. Sugar Bomb. I just thought that was cute. Got a dandelion here. A highlighter you can see, hopefully. I hit pan on that one. It's very good. And we've got Dallas here. Jam BD89. She recommended that, and I picked it up right away. And I think everything I have left right here is Jeffree Star. So we'll just start with the Alien palette, which is awesome. I love his formula. And I think his packaging is always top-notch. And here's Thirsty. And I did pick up his new Jawbreaker collection. And it should be here tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to put that in this video. And that's blood sugar. And the blue blood. If you like blues, this is a good one.
I have a few more cheek palettes from Benefit here. I buy these almost every year. Juvia's Place here, the Saharan palette. The Masquerade. And that's the Mini. The Saharan. The Nubian 2. The Zulu, the Nubian, this is a Nubian Mini, I think it might have come in a boxy charm or some similar subscription box, and then the Magic by Jubius Place. Now we're down to the end here. It's mostly going to be Jeffree Star highlighters at this point. So this is the Northern Lights. The Platinum Ice. The 24 Karat Skin Frost Pro Palette. And then some of his individual highlighters. That one's Crystal Ball. Ice Cold. And I picked up most of these at Beautylish when they were on sale for like 13 bucks. I couldn't resist them. Nefri. Uranus. These designs are just awesome. And that's Eclipse. King Tut. And the last one here is Peach Goddess. These are my Natasha Denona palettes that I keep on top of my Alex Nine drawers. This is the Sunrise palette. This is the Star palette. The Leila. This is the Sunset. This is the Gold. This is the Safari Palette. This is the Sculpt and Glow. Her neutral palette. The Tropic palette. The Diamond and Blush palette. This is a citrus one. And I know that I mentioned earlier that I don't usually use cream products, but when I do, those are the ones that I reach for. That's the Daria. And then these are her 28 pan palettes. That's the green brown. 
and the blue purple. These are my magnetic palettes. This one's from Adept Cosmetics and it is the 88 palette. I really like their products. They're pretty good. They're well made. The magnets are very strong. And this is full of soft box eyeshadows. Like I said, I'm crazy for them. This is another magnetic palette from Adept Cosmetics. This one is unique because it has the dual sided magnetic palette. I love it. And these are more soft box shadows. Like I said, I love them. This is a lip palette that I got from Beauty by Stony, Stony Cosmetics. It's awesome. I really love it so much. It's full of mattes and you can mix them. So I have a little mixing palette so I can create custom shades. Isn't that cool? These are a couple of palettes that I have from Colored Rain. They're magnetic palettes. And I do like the size and they have a good size mirror, which is awesome. And I have a few of my depotted tart blushes in here because at one time I was crazy about depotting everything. Has everybody been through that or is it just me? Now this Colored Rain palette is the pink version of that same palette and it's full of Bysart singles and Makeup Geek singles and a few Anastasia Beverly Hills singles. I store my glitters and pigments in the Alex 72 eyeshadow organizer. I've got quite a few from Lime Crime here and some Anastasia, some Makeup Forevers that are really pretty. I'm a big fan of the Stila glitters and I have more of the Stila glitters up here. I enjoy the Anastasia glitters. These are some from Ash Cosmetics here. And here's some Marc Jacobs and some of the Hourglass and the Natasha Denonis. A little bit of Charlotte Tilbury and MAC. And these are the Dawn Eyes Cosmetics Sugar Shifters. They're super pretty.
this is a drawer that I keep things that I'm trying to pan and get out of my collection or that are my absolute favorites. Some of these we've talked about already. And this is that pencil that I just cannot stand. It's that goof proof one. Let's see. I have that much left. Wish me luck, guys. It's never ending. This is some mascara that I have in rotation right now. And my Naked Skin Concealer. I'm trying to pan this one. I've really been enjoying this under eye primer from Becca. Got a nice size pan in that. And I've got a few little lipstick minis that I'm trying to pan in here. But basically it's just a little bit of, um, you know, primers. My In Rotation Setting Spray. You know, got to have my Capari deodorant because it's my favorite right now. But I bounce between that and the Native. I have my Micellar Water from Garnier here. Nail files, um, Q-tips, and cotton balls right here. And then I'm working to pan a palette this year. It's the Benefit Cheek Parade. And look at that, you guys. Major, major proud moment here. The Hula, I've got a good den in. I finished Hula Light. Dandelion's pretty much a goner. I'm working hard on California. And rockator has got a nice um, size pan there, and you can really see the grate. I put new things in here that I want to try. And right now I have the MAC Electric collection in here. And, um, you know, I just got these. I have not tried them out yet, but I'm super excited for them. I think they're very, very pretty. And I do like the MAC formula. As you can probably tell, as you've seen my collection, I have a lot of MAC. And then they even had a little face palette. I was super excited for. Look at that, it's so pretty. All right guys, you almost made it to the end. The last thing I wanted to show you here is the brush holders that I use. These are really toothbrush holders that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And um, I pretty much store all my brushes in these. I think they they photograph really well and um, I think they're nice and pretty and sparkly. And in this one I have Marc Jacobs brushes which are pretty good synthetic brush choices. In this one, I have um, some of the cups that match that same pattern. Some are champagne colored and some are pink. And um, these are the refer brushes that I keep in this container. And the A23 Anastasia highlighting brushes. I really like those a lot. If you haven't tried these refer brushes, I'm telling you, they're very good. They're natural hair. They were having a prototype program, and um, I was able to pick up a few for free to try with a, with a purchase, and I love them so much that they have a Kickstarter campaign, and I signed up for the large bundle of brushes. These are my Wing Goss brushes. I do prefer natural hair brushes. They're super soft. I um, just really, I love them so much. And then I have my eye brushes on the other side and I get a lot of good use out of these. These brushes are my absolute favorites. They're the Sonia G brushes. I have her face set and um, her eye set and then a bunch of singles. If you have small hooded eyes, this brush, it's called the Builder One. 
I highly recommend it. It makes applying shimmers so easy. And you'll see it's got a shape that's unique. Comes to a fine point and if you're trying to do a cut crease, this is super helpful. I think that you would not regret trying any of her brushes. These are some random MAC brushes. I mostly use them if I'm applying creams. And of course I use this one just about every day. Alright, I tried to keep everything nice and tidy for this video, but I just wasn't able to not use some of them, so some of them are dirty. Um, these are the Zoeva brushes and I think they're really phenomenal. So if you're just, um, you know, starting out with a collection, I think that these are very good quality and um, you, would, you wouldn't regret them either. They're good brushes. All right, we've got some rougher eye brushes here. Like I was telling you, they're so good. And um, they've got these matte handles and also a traditional handle. And if you can try them next time they come out with some prototypes or join that Kickstarter campaign that they have going, they're given 40 and 50% off these brushes and they're so good. All right, this is it. This is the end of my makeup collection. This is the Artise brush. It's like a palm brush. It's so good too. And I use this one if I've gone heavy with my bronzer and um, need to blend it out a little more or I want a, you know, straighter, uh, more defined line with a contour. And I also use it to blend powder products. And it works beautifully. And then I love the beauty blenders and the Real Technique sponges. So I just keep these on a soap dish in my makeup room and works perfectly. Thank you for joining me as I film this makeup collection video. I watch a lot of these and this was, um, you know, a lot of work, but it was very fun for me to do. And I got to play with things in my collection that, you know, don't get the most love and, um, you know, maybe I'll dust those things off now or find them a better home. I think it's time for a declutter. So thank you again. Feel free to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And um, I also have a blog and an Instagram. The handle for both is MyVanityDreams or MyVanityDreams.com. And I will link those down below. Thank you. Have a great day.